Vibrant is looking now, before again, and after, before, after. So that, yes fam, welcome to another video. Ensure you watch to the very end so you could understand everything I'm going to be doing in this video. Okay, this is another color grading tutorial with CapCut PC. And I'm going to be showing you what I do or what I'll do with this one. As you can see from the beginning, this already has a color. Colors kind of pop. Okay, I did some little work on it some time back, but now with CapCut PC. So I'm going to be using CapCut PC to color grade this particular footage. As you can see, color space is SDRO Reg 709. Why did I mention that? So you realize that some image won't give you a perfect color grading if what you use to capture the video does not have a strong sensor. Okay, so with that said, let's head over to transform. But before then, let's go to these three dots, click on that and click on color, oscillate scope, show, very important. Okay, for this one, it looks balanced already. As you can see from this graph, it looks balanced. Remember what I said? If you've not watched my last video, make sure you do that. So you understand it. You so say you don't want, you don't want these colors. You will want them to be spread out. But you don't want them over shooting this 1300 you see here. And you don't want it under zero. Okay, so it's perfect as it is. I'll just go over and do some other things. So let's go to the main and just play with the saturation and contrast and all those things. Okay. And change it to either warm. Okay, let's work with the saturations. We'll start with basic, then we'll move on to HSL. Let's see if we want it warm. How it's going to look. Okay, does it warm? It looks more cinematic to me. Yes, it's a pool and hot afternoon too. Obviously, we want that warm feeling, not a cold day. Because opportunity here is a cold day and why should you be swimming on a cold day, right? So, making it warm makes more sense. Which I will just leave it at 31. Okay. For this, I don't want to change any of this, but you can actually change it, make it feel like a green more or a pink more day. But I really don't want to mess with it that much. I think I'm just okay with it a bit. For the saturation, I can increase that and see what happens when I increase the saturation. It's too much because if you look at my leg here, it's now red. I don't want that, so just a bit, just a bit, and I'll try to move down from there. Already, it's showing a lot of colors, as you can see, it's bringing out the vibrant colors, as you can see around me. I'll move down and find exposure contracts you can see the exposure you can reduce the exposure or increase the exposure okay for this one i think increasing it a bit but you see the red the red is kind of much so we'll just try to fix that contract okay Trying to reduce the contrast a bit. Highlight. Highlight is not doing much. Okay, but I just want it there. Shadows, I want it down a bit. Like so. And for this, okay. It's fine now like this. I think I like it the way it is now. Sharpness, I think the image is already sharp or the video, sorry, the video should be sharp already. I don't want to overdo it. 
Okay, now looking at me, once I overdo it, just look at this area. It says it distorts the video. So you do want to be careful the way you use that. So make sure it's not much. Sprinkles, like I said in my last video, the video where I color graded the C and both. So you can find the C and both video on my channel and watch that. Sprinkles is more like green. So if you increase this, it gives you look, just take a look at the skin here. When I increase particles, it gives me that grain kind of, but when I reduce it, okay, it there yeah, was not much. And like I say, don't overuse it if you don't need to use it. Okay. If you don't need it, then don't use it. So in this case, I don't need it. So I won't use it. Fade, fade is what fade does, fades the image, but I don't think I want to fade the image at all. For every other one, I think we are good to go. Um, um, like I said, also in that same last video, this is subjective if you want it you use it if you don't vignette if you want to add vignette you can if you don't want to you can leave it out or just add a bit of it okay a bit of it if you want to focus more on the image you can just add a bit of it so we are done with basic then we'll come to hsl this is where we want to adjust individual colors Remember I talked about the red being on my foot so I can actually reduce the red if I don't want the red to pop but if I want it as you can see it's there but I want it a bit down I don't want it I don't want the red to be my central attraction so I will just leave that then we have orange as you can see this roof is more orange than to be red so if we increase that also as you can see gives it that pop of orange yellow a few mod mod yellow affect this building let's see what happens okay so we were right about that we can also leave that if we like what we see already okay since we can leave that the green obviously will affect more of the building going forward so let's see how that works okay not too much yes i think that that's good you want it to be vibrant this is a sunny summer afternoon so you want to give it that vibe right let's move on to blue and let's do for blue again as you can see gives it that feel also and now you see once we remember when we started the red was x much but we reduced that under the red basics as you can see so it dropped the red down Okay, so back to blue, we have blue, we have the darker blue, it should surely affect this corner where I'm standing on to also affect this corner here. Yeah? So let's do that and see. As you can see, you noticed it. You noticed it. You can see, you can totally take blue out of the image. So it's up to you what you want, but me, I want to go with that vibrant feel. So I won't take it out. I'll just put it in there. Okay. As you can see, so I think I like it that way. Okay. Brighten. Nah, don't want to brighten it too much. So that works. If there's purple, we can increase that, but I don't think there is much of purple in this image. And pink either, or turquoise, I'm not sure there's much of it. So now we have that, and we can see we still maintain this 
lines. Remember we went from basic to this part. All right. So now let's scroll down. And now let's look at before and after. So you see this is before. And this is after. So you can see how vibrant is looking now. Before again. And after. Before. After. So that was fast. It didn't take us a lot of time. And we didn't do too much. Okay. So now that I'm done. I can save this preset so that I have it for later. Okay, so I've saved that. So now if I have more of this afternoon vibes pool, I can just use that preset. But I always advise you, every image is peculiar to the time, camera used, sensor and rest. So that will make a difference. As you can see, this took us about 11 minutes to do, no more than that. And we have this image, so I'm just going to play it for you to see. Okay, there you see it. So you can see how it's looking. So let me just play it again. 